NVIDIA has also invested in Eleven Labs, the breakout voice AI pioneer whose tech is fast becoming the soundtrack of the generative AI era. This move, celebrated by Jensen Huang himself, lands days after a landmark $42 billion US-UK technology prosperity deal and positions voice as the next strategic frontier in the transatlantic AI alliance. Eleven Labs co-founder Marty Staniszewski announced on X that NVIDIA is officially on board, calling it the perfect capstone to last week's state visit that tightened US-UK AI ties. Jensen Wang joined Staniszewski for a conversation on the future of AI audio, revealing that whenever his own voice is delivered digitally, it's Eleven Labs technology doing the work. Juan captured the magic very bluntly. This is what he had to say. Speech to text is just technology. Text to speech is artistry. Well said, Mr. Wang. With emotion, you deliver empathy. You deliver connection. The timing is no accident. The technology prosperity deal Signed during President Trump's September state visit aims to pump 150 billion pounds into joint AI and quantum projects. NVIDIA is already pouring in 11 billion pounds into UK AI factories, deploying 120,000 advanced GPUs to strengthen Britain's sovereign AI stack. 11 Labs with dual US-UK roots is now the emblem of that alliance. A voice platform born in both geographies and now backed by the world's most valuable AI company, founded in 2022 by former Google and Palantir engineers, Piotr Dabkowski and Marty Staniszewski, Eleven Labs has become the reference point for lifelike AI speech. Its text-to-speech and voice agent models power gaming media education and accessibility tools, and a September 2025 employee share tender pegged its valuation at $6.6 .6 billion. At Cypher 2025, India's biggest AI summit and expo, Eleven Labs chief of staff Alejandra Otero showed why voice is more than just a gimmick. She asked the audience to imagine the same sentence spoken in the voices of Morgan Freeman, Homer Simpson, Tau, and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Same words, radically different impact. Otero argued that voice carries culture and emotion and that true real-time cross-lingual communication will make voice the default interface for human-machine interaction, end quote. Otero detailed how Eleven Labs is already scaling enterprise-grade voice agents. Customer support. Indian e-commerce giant Misho cut cost per call by 75% while handling 660,000 calls, wow, daily in Hindi and English using Eleven Lab agents. Education. Partnering with Supernova, the company has actually launched personalized tutoring in Tamil, bringing 24 by 7 English practice to students. Content creation. Platforms like Pocket FM have slashed audio production costs by 90%. That's a whopping figure. Using Eleven Labs V3 text to speech model. The hurdles, here they are. Latency, turn-taking, interruption handling, GDPR compliance. These are all being solved with sub-second response times and SOC-ready enterprise controls, pushing voice AI from pilot projects to mass deployment. This investment is in charity. It's NVIDIA in reinforcing its full-stack AI play. By backing the company that is already the preferred voice engine for platforms from Perplexity to Lex Friedman's podcast, NVIDIA strengthens the link between its GPU dominance and the next wave of AI interfaces. As generative AI shifts from text and image to multimodal agents that talk, listen and act, owning the voice layer is as strategic as owning the silicon. Eleven Labs 
isn't treating India as an afterthought. Otero revealed that India is now one of its fastest growing markets, prompting investment in local data residency for low latency regulation ready service. With a library of over 5,000 voices, including India specific accents and 500 India startups already on its 11 grants program, the company is betting that the next billion AI conversations will be multilingual and culturally tuned. Skeptics might call it another AI hype loop. Big valuations, bigger promises. But the US-UK tech pact, NVIDIA's UK GPU rollout, and 11 Labs' real-world traction suggest something much deeper. Voice is becoming the interface of the AI economy. Will NVIDIA's backing accelerate 11 Labs' push from 40 million users to a true global voice operating system? Will its agents become the default customer support backbone for enterprises worldwide? And as real-time cross-lingual speech becomes seamless, will voice AI become the new social network or the next privacy battleground? NVIDIA just gave the world's fastest growing voice AI company a megaphone. And the question now isn't whether AI will talk like us, it's how soon every digital interaction will talk to us. Thank you.